Hey, what's up, soldiers? Greg FPS, and today what I have for you guys is a classic gameplay commentary. The gameplay you're going to be watching is actually from my live stream. I live stream every night around 9:30, sometimes earlier, sometimes later. The link is down in the description. Twitch.tv slash greg fps but today i actually want to do a commentary topic on the possibility of twitch being bought by google and what that's actually going to do so some sources are saying that it has been bought some sources have been saying it is going to be bought and we don't really know if it actually has gone through yet but i'm sure we will once it actually happens but basically Google is going to be buying Twitch for around $1 billion, which is just a huge, huge number. Twitch is an amazing company, and I think what Google can actually do is going to be absolutely amazing and really, really awesome. So what is it going to do specifically? And these are just some things that I'm thinking are is what's going to happen. So basically, there's only two real ways to let users on YouTube know when a YouTuber is actually streaming. The first one is just having a YouTuber like me upload a video saying, Hey guys, I'm live. I'm streaming. What's up? Come hang out and all that sort of stuff and then the other one is actually something that twitch just implemented in this past week which basically allows every single video under my name of greg fps on my youtube to have an overlay saying that i'm live on twitch right now and that's really cool like they're getting set to really implement this stuff which is a great thing and i'm very very excited about it but another thing is i really think that youtube and Twitch is going to work hand in hand so, so, so good. I really think that the ability to be able to stream on YouTube and Twitch simultaneously is going to happen. Also, with Twitch being bought by Google, we're going to have all the power that Google has. They have so much space, so much memory, all that stuff, and they are able to just go through videos really, really fast because we already have YouTube going through all those videos. There's so much bandwidth there with YouTube, and I think if Twitch really implements this, it's going to open up a gateway for way, way, way more users to be able to stream their games and open up a community for themselves. Now, also, we also have the copyright thing, which is a big, big factor that will actually play into Twitch as well. Because as you guys know, you can't upload copyrighted material onto YouTube without getting a strike. I mean, it's content ID claimed and it's going to be claimed right away and taken down by YouTube and you can't have that on your channel. On Twitch right now, you are able to use copyrighted material such as music and things like that. But right now, I think that when this whole thing goes through, it's not going to be allowed anymore, which is kind of a good thing because then like for me for example i only use uncopyrighted music in my live streams so that if i ever do anything amazing or record something cool or get like a nuke or something and i want to upload it it's all set i don't have to worry about copyright and it's fine i don't have to like mute the clip and you'll actually still be able to see my reactions and everything like that which is really really cool so i think this is kind of a good thing and not necessarily a bad thing because i'm already planning on this and i don't use copyrighted stuff for this specific reason is this might go on YouTube and I really think that's a good thing. The next thing is that Twitch is actually a really, really, really popular place for a lot of people. Over There's millions and millions of users that use Twitch every single day. No matter what game you're watching, no matter what game you're playing, there's so many people on Twitch and that's really how YouTube is as well. So I really think that with Google taking over Twitch and having YouTube already, there's nothing really bad that they can do except combine them to make them even better. Now I don't really know what is going to happen with the whole Twitch subscribe thing. I think that if you subscribe to a YouTuber, you should also have access to their stream and you should not have to pay whatsoever. I think that the whole subscribe thing should just go back to donations like it used to be. Now with the subscribe thing, it costs $4.99 for an entire month to subscribe to a streamer on Twitch that is that has a subscribe button. I, for example, do not have the subscribe button and even if you have a subscribe button everyone can still watch for free the subscribe button basically gets you special perks on the actual stream so basically every person that has a subscribe button they earn two dollars and fifty cents from that subscribe button and then twitch earns the other half of two dollars and fifty cents and that goes to twitch and i really think this is a good thing but at the same time i don't really see how this is actually going to work 
once it really is incorporated into YouTube and Google and all that sort of stuff. So there's still a lot of things up for grab. We don't really know exactly how everything is going to go down, but overall, I see this as a great opportunity. I think it's actually a good thing because it's really going to get everyone that is streaming and producing content to really key in on exactly what they want their users to know and you guys will know exactly when I'm live streaming exactly when I upload upload YouTube videos I just said uptoed what the hell and all that sort of stuff so I think it's a really really good thing and I think that's awesome so anyways guys thank you so much for watching this has been another classic gameplay commentary by your boy Greg FPS I hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think exactly about this entire thing with twitch and google and youtube so thanks for watching guys we'll see you later and make sure to check out my stream tonight i will be streaming some mw2 or battlefield or destiny i'm not really too sure yet you know what i'm actually gonna have a straw poll down in the description so you can vote if you want me to stream mw2 black ops 2 battlefield 4 or destiny so i'm gonna have those four options down in the description let me know what you think and i will see you guys later peace out